our viewer question today. They have asked several companies offer microbiome testing. Do you think this is something that could help? I think they're at this stage of minimal value. Uh, why? Uh, there are amazing pieces of technology. They can do a DNA analysis on all the microbes that come out in the stool specimen. We're realizing, however, a couple of issues with that. One, the bacteria that come out in a fecal specimen are not really that representative of all the microbes that are coating the wall of the colon, et cetera. When you put a swab up there, you go up with a scope and really swab it, you get a different set of microbes. So, so just what's coming out in the feces is not that representative. And more basic than that, there's an old adage in medicine as far when we consider ordering this test or that test. The, the gold standard rule is if it's not going to change your treatment, don't order the test. It's not really going to change anything. And when we talk about changing the microbiome to a more beneficial one, there's by far one powerful way to do that. It has to do with the food we're putting down there. You want to change your microbiome, uh, change the food that you're eating. In other words, not that the probiotic products don't have a minor place, but the good bacteria are already down in your gut. The pathogenic bacteria, they're already down there too. It's the food that you eat that determines which one bloom and blossoms and which ones get suppressed. The, the, your food stream and the food that makes it up is like the conductor of a symphony orchestra who brings up the woodwinds and tones down the brass. Well, the, the various foods and the fibers that you're eating bring up the prevotella and decrease the bacteroidetes. So no matter what that microbiome reading tells you, you still want to eat a whole food plant-based diet, and that's going to correct most every uh, imbalance that you may have. Now, certain fibers have different uh, properties, and you might want to see how your gut feels, the quality of your stool with more fruit in your diet, less fruit, more legumes in your diet, fewer legumes in your diet. Now, you're your own laboratory. Uh, take the response of how you feel and how your digestive system is working as to whether any changes can be made. I would uh, trust that far more than the readout of a stool microbiome analysis that really doesn't reflect what's going upstairs. The, uh, uh, you know, the old garbage in, garbage out saying that, that the computer folks use you know, in nutritional medicine is garbage in, garbage in. <laughs> you eat good things, uh, good things sprout in your intestines, you eat bad things, you, you, you foster disease there. So uh, make that whole food plant-based diet the standard fare and your microbiome will, will know what to do with that. And I think it'll balance out pretty well without those analyses. You've got better things to do with your money than spend it on that particular test. So go out and, and buy some rice and beans and greens, better use of your funds. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.